if you want to grow and truly live a life of purpose and fulfillment, you have to suffer. There is no other way. But most people in the modern world, they don't want to suffer. They just numb themselves with the modern distractions and pleasures just to delay the suffering. Because the reality is you either suffer now to get a great life, the great life that you really deeply want, or you choose an easy life right now full of pleasure and distraction. And then later on, when you're on your deathbed, you look back and say, wow, I was meant for for much more than this. It's your choice. Do you want to suffer the pain of discipline or suffer the pain of regret? I'll tell you a little story. When I first gave my life to Christ, I went through a lot of suffering. I wasn't really actively seeking his word. I kind of made the commitment, but didn't follow it up. So God had to give me a lot of negative experiences so I could finally uncover the deep lesson behind all of this. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance character, and character hope. When you're suffering, you're really growing because growth is painful. Your old self, your flesh, does not want to change. It wants to survive and stay as is and stay in its comfort zone, but you have to kill your old self. And that's, that's inherently painful within itself. And so the main thing that I had to realize is that suffering and hardships and trials and tribulations and tests, God gives them to you just to build your character and bring you closer to him. That's all it is. So whatever you may be going through right now, or maybe you're on a personal development journey, just know what's waiting for you on the other side. It's a truly a life of growth and fulfillment. Think about it like this. Someone who's born into a rich family, who was given everything at birth and has all the money in the world, they're not going to go through the same character development and get the same fulfillment out of life compared to the person who had to start from the bottom and work their way up to where that person is. And it's the same way that God is not going to give us what we want right away. He's going to give us what we need. Fulfillment is really found in the journey, not the destination. If you were just think about it, if you were just given your ideal life in a very easy manner without having to work for it, would you truly enjoy it? And God knows the answer to that. Like we find glory in our sufferings because in the end, it's to bring us closer to him and to develop our character. So to come out a completely new person. And so the main thing is to just put yourself through suffering every single day. Get out of your comfort zone because as soon as you remove yourself from the comfort zone, that's when you force yourself to grow into a new person. Hit the gym every day. Personally, I take a cold shower first thing in the morning every single day because it forces me to suffer. But through that, my resilience increases. My energy levels are obviously higher. It gives me clear skin, so that's another good benefit. But the main thing is, it's always pain now, pleasure later, or pleasure now and pain later. So fill your day with suffering, but meaningful suffering. So suffering on the way to your goals, making progress every single day, 1% better every single day. And that's only through suffering. Many of you know Hamza, do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it because it builds character and brings you closer to God.